Hey guys, Bill here. Just in case you're wondering, this is an answers only video for a previously posted video called Hook Island Monster, Real or Fake? Now, if you haven't watched that video, it's probably a good idea if you go back and watch that one first, and then this video will make a heck of a lot more sense for you, okay? I'm gonna leave a link for that one right down here in the description box. Now, for the rest of you guys, what I'd like you to do is get out a pencil and paper, and as we go through the answers, write down which ones you got right and which ones you got wrong, okay? That way, at the end, you can write your score in the comment section, and we can all see how we did, okay? You ready? Let's get started. Number one was that shot of what looks like the smallest and possibly cutest cat in the world. And this is what the vote tally was just 24 hours after it was posted. But what's the real official answer? Well, that I just happen to have right here. And if you're interested, I'll tell you what it is. You want me to read it right now or maybe we can talk about something else for a while? I don't know, you know, the weather, something like that, maybe crack a couple of, no, all right, I'll shut up. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, I think you're going to be surprised by this one because, you know, there are a lot of people out there, you know, they actually sent me emails and stuff and they say, look, I found the answer and everything. But a lot of you guys are wrong about this thing because it is 100% big fat Photoshop fake. Can you believe that? That thing was so cute. According to the hoax-busting website Snopes.com, this image has been circulating online since 2006 when it was created for, and say it with me everybody, a worth1000.com Photoshop contest. This contest was called Sickeningly Cute and it challenged participants to create images so cute you want to puke. That's marvelous. According to Facebook reader Marinus Kramer, the real smallest cat in the world was called Tinker Toy. As confirmed by the Guinness Book of World Records, Tinker Toy was a Himalayan Persian mix. He measured only 2.75 inches or about seven centimeters tall. Now that is small. Number two was that supercharged cooking video from Japan. Remember that one? Well, here's how you guys voted in just the first 24 hours after we posted the video. Hmm, well, that's interesting the way that turned out. But hey, before I give you the official answer, would you mind if I give you my opinion? Because, you know, this whole thing reminds me of those Rube Goldberg contraptions. You know what those are, right? That's where they take simple things and they make them exceedingly complicated just to have fun. And this video really reminds me of that. I mean, it's, you know, cooking shrimp is really simple, but they made it theatrical and complicated just to draw attention to their restaurant or whatever else there is that they're trying to draw attention to. Anyway, but that's just my opinion. And it doesn't matter because what really matters is what the official answer is, which is fake. That's right, that's what I said. It's fake. The whole thing is a big, fat fake. Say what? It was actually a commercial made for a Japanese telecommunications company to highlight the blinding speed of their wireless network called Full LTE. Oh man, I wish I could have been a fly on the wall on that meeting where their advertising guy pitched this idea to the boss. Can you imagine? Boss, this is like the perfect metaphor. Our network is so fast, it's like cooking shrimp in three seconds. Is this the idea we paid $1 million for? Are you crazy? <laughs> Number three, if you remember, was this shot claiming to show a baby polar bear. After just 24 hours of being online, this is how you guys voted. Hmm, interesting. But how do you think you guys did as a crowd? Do you think the, the crowd got it right or maybe not? I always like it when the crowd gets it right because I don't know, there's just something about that. It's so cool, you know, when a group of people get something right. It, you know, it reinforces my belief in humanity. I don't know why that makes sense, but anyway, what do you say we get to this? Uh, this, this is weird. What is this? What is this? Huh? Um, okay. It says the only place this baby polar bear came from is a sewing catalog. It is, say it with me, so big.
Thanks to podcast producer Sam Pearson, we now know this little cub is the creation of a Ukrainian sewing artist, Tatiana Skalaza. Tatiana, who calls herself a teddy bear artist, sells this and a whole bunch of other cutie cuddlies on her website. If you like ultra cute teddy bears, this is a website you're not going to want to miss because it is chock full of them. I'm going to leave a link down in the description box. Number four was this amazing shot of an island that looks like an elephant. Here's how the crowd voted in the first 24 hours, and what's amazing is how right the crowd usually is. But maybe not this time, so let's see. Let's see what the official answer says here. Okay. Now, the official answer says, fake photos of elephants are a popular staple on the internet. One of our favorites is this one. It shows an elephant that has an ear with the shape of a human face on it. It's fake, of course, because here's the original shot of the elephant before the face was photoshopped onto its ear. Now, much in the same vein, we have this photo right here, and this photo is also real. There's a little typo in there, but it's real. It's called Elephant Rock, and you can see it anytime you want when you're in Hawaii. It's just off the coast of Maui, and lots of people take helicopter rides to go see it. It's not a real elephant, of course. It's just our mind playing tricks with us. In fact, there's a psychological name for this phenomenon. It's called pareidolia. It's this phenomenon that causes us to see things where nothing really exists, you know, like the man on the moon, or all those pictures going around with the women on Mars, or a giant crab on Mars, and all sorts of other stuff in the skies. And finally, number five, the famous photo of the Hook Island monster. Is it real or is it fake? Let's check out the 24 hour vote tally and see what you guys thought. Guys, if you voted fake on this one, I have some great news for you because you are 100% wrong. Thanks to an exhaustive article in Scientific American Magazine by Darren Nash, we now know that photographer Robert Lasseric did take this picture and the creature in it is most likely fake, but due to lack of evidence remains unknown. According to Nash, it's only logical that what we're looking at is a large sheet of plastic half buried in the sand. The shallow depth would make it easy to do this and easy to shape a monster for the photo. The concept of the creature most likely came from famous cryptozoologist Bernard Wovelman. In the early 1960s, Wovelman put forth the idea of a giant tadpole creature that became known as yellow belly. Coincidentally, this is also about the same time Mr. Lasseric came up with his famous photo. Hmm. Lasseric later disappeared into Asia, and with him, the truth about his famous Hook Island monster. Okay, so there you have it. How'd you do? Did you get five out of five or maybe something a little bit different? Tell you what, why don't you add it up and then let us all know how you did in the comment section below. But please, be honest, nobody likes a faker. All right, just want to send a big thanks to everybody for sending in all those wonderful pictures and videos you send in every week. And hey, before we finish up today, I just want to remind you of something. And that is my friends over at Bubblegum Monsters channel, Peter and Stuart, you know, we're on here all the time. They just finished up an amazing series on one of my favorite topics, Freddy Fazbear. I really think you're gonna wanna see this thing. And in addition to it being one of the most amazing videos ever made, I have a cameo role in it playing, guess who? The owner of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. So you're not gonna wanna miss this Oscar performance, trust me. I'm going to leave a link for the channel up here and down here, so make sure to stop by at your convenience. I saw it and it was excellent.